This presentation is brought to you by Pocket Oracle. The definitive quick pocket reference to Oracle. In this session we will see about the hints in an Oracle database. First let's see what are hints. Hints let you make decisions which are usually made by the optimizer. Hints are a way to override the default query optimization. As an application designer, you might know information about your data than the optimizer would know. Hints in an Oracle database can be used on the optimization approach for a SQL statement, access path for a table accessed by the statement, the join order for a join statement and on the join operation in a join statement. Now let's see how to specify hints. Hints can be used in a select or in any DML statement. In each statement, the hint goes directly after the first keyword and are placed between the slash star plus and star slash tags as shown in the below example. Hints in Oracle can be categorized as hints for optimization approaches, hints for access paths, hints for query transformations, hints for join operations, hints for parallel execution and additional hints. Let's see the hints for optimization approaches and goals. All rows. The all rows hint explicitly chooses the cost-based approach to optimize a statement block with a goal of best throughput. The results will be returned only after all processing has been completed. First rows, the first rows hint optimizes SQLS for fast response. It uses minimal resources to return the first n rows. Hints for access paths. Full, this hint chooses a full table skin for the table even if there is an index available. This is will be efficient if you are retrieving more than 50% of the rows in the table. Row ID, this hint explicitly chooses a table scan by row ID for the specified table. The index hint chooses an index scan for the table. No index hint explicitly disallows a set of indexes for the specified table. Hints for query transformations, USE concat. Use concat forces combined or conditions in the WHERE clause of a query to be transformed into a compound query using the union all set operator. No expand prevents the optimizer from considering OR expansion for queries having OR conditions or in lists in the WHERE clause. Rewrite forces the cost-based optimizer to rewrite a query in terms of materialized views, when possible. The merge hint lets you merge a view for each query. Hints for join operations US ENL. Use NL causes Oracle to join each specified table to another row source with the nested loops join, using the specified table as the inner table. Works well if there is an index in the second driven table. The best selective should be the driver. Use merge causes Oracle to join each specified table with another row source, using a sort merge join. Vitwo inputs are separately sorted and merged. No sort is required if the table has indexes. Outputs only after both the sorts are performed. Use hash causes Oracle to join each specified table with another row source using a hash join. The two tables are compared in memory. One is loaded in memory and hash functions are applied. Works well for smaller tables. Driving site. This hint forces query execution to be done at a different site than that selected by Oracle. Leading, the leading hint causes Oracle to use the specified table as the first table in the join order. Hints for parallel execution. Parallel, this hint lets you specify the desired number of concurrent servers that can be used for a parallel operation. No parallel, overrides a parallel specification in the table clause. In general, Hints take precedence over table clauses. Now let's see a few additional hints append. Append hint lets you enable direct path insert if your database is running in serial mode. No append enables conventional insert by disabling parallel mode for the duration of the insert statement. Cache specifies that the blocks retrieved for the table are placed at the most recently used end of the LRU list in the buffer cache when a full table scan is performed. No cache specifies that the blocks retrieved for the table are placed at the least recently used end of the LRU list in the buffer cache when a full table scan is performed. Unest unests and merges the body of the subquery into the body of the statement that contains it.
allowing the optimizer to consider them together when evaluating access paths and joins. Dynamic sampling lets you control dynamic sampling to improve server performance by determining more accurate selectivity and cardinality estimates. Thanks for watching the presentation. For a quick reference of Oracle concepts visit pocketoracle.blogspot.com.